And help us, Father. God bless you in Jesus' name. Preaching Jesus' ministry. Um, I'm going uh, to say a little words here before I go to sleep. Now, we, uh, I want to read this verse. It says, from to, For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. That's Philippines chapter 1, verse 21. Okay, Jesus. For to me, to live is for Christ, to die is to gain. You know. One of the things is, um, to live is for Christ. In other words, when you live as Christ, the Bible says you love me, keep my commandments. And the commandments, one of the major two commandments, to love God with all your mind, soul, and spirit, with all your heart. And to love other others, I love yourself. And these are the two major commandments. And one of the things that he told us to do, I believe it was Mark 16, if I'm not mistaken. He said, go out to other one, preach the gospel to every creature. That was one of the commandments he told us to do. Um, but one of the things to live is for Christ. You living and preaching his word to uh, him we preach, warning every man. Teaching every man, it's all good works. Uh, every man of God, of knowledge, you know, that will become perfect in Christ. And so when you live according to the word, obeying His word of God, you live the godly life. You live as Christ. One occasion, Paul said, "To to to be uh, of be follow me as I follow Christ." In other words, he set the example. Of what Christ, uh, Christians to look. Christian means follow of Christ. So he said the example of, um, of being a follower of Christ. But then he says to we need to live is for Christ. But then as he goes on and says, but to die is to gain. In other words, when you live for Christ and you win souls for Christ, you put a there's a diamond in heaven. You become a soul winner. You're storing treasures in heaven where your treasure is, that where your heart will be. In other words, that's where your life will be. The Bible says that the, the buzzes of the heart flows the issues of life. And so then when you depart from this world, you gain and lose nothing. Because you live a godly, holy, righteous life, obeying Jesus, even through the midst of persecution, you have that peace, that supernatural, that peace that surpasses all the things which comes from Jesus and not from men. And then you have live for Christ. And when you go home, when it's time to go home, he calls you home, you gain and lose nothing. Because to die is to gain. You know, this is saying there's um what they call a seed. It said a seed have to die first, so to be able to produce its fruits and produce a tree. It goes into a tree, the tree produces fruits, but a seed is planted and it dies. Then the roots come out and they start growing, and it produces. So we say when we die, we gain. We gain eternal life through Christ Jesus. Um, why I'm bringing this up? Because as a Christian, um, people that have passed on, you know, I had two grandmas that passed away. I had an uncle. I had people, family, married, every friends. But people that walk godly life and holy life and people that accept Christ, whether it be the last minute, they lost nothing. When they have Jesus, they have everything. You know, even the Lazarus, you know, poor, he didn't have nothing. Time passed when the poor man died. But what he had, the Bible says the angels took him to Abraham's bosom. To Abraham's bosom, the resting place. And so then, he, you gain everything, lost nothing. I bring this up. Um... Our brother in Christ, a person that's 
uh, that I watched for years, man, for years. Because I started, when I started street preaching, before I started, I was with um, Team Jesus Preachers. I started watching, and the Lord used him to bring me into street preaching. And that's when I met Cleveland Street Preachers and Christ Forgiveness Ministry and and Torture of Christ Ministry. And that's when I, and other channels, and and Brother Ruben Israel was one of the ones that, um, out of those channels, was another one that inspired me. So throughout all these years, he was a big inspiration, and it was an honor to meet him in Maranatha Conference in, in Fort Myers. When I seen that took a video with him and picture, cause it was a very honor to meet that brother because he has shown me a lot through all the videos that I have been watching, how to be bold for Christ Jesus with standing persecution, with standing against the evil. And being bold for Christ, look at them straight in the eyes and tell them, you're a sinner, you got to repent. Things that I have learned, the baby man is full of wisdom, it's good to learn from brothers like that. But this brother right here, he earned to his crown of life. He departed from this world and he's going to live for Christ and to die to gain. So he didn't earn, he didn't lose nothing. Paul said that I have finished the race. There's wait for me a crown of life. I ran the race. I withstand persecution. Now it's time for me to depart. My day of my departures is at hand. And I'm ready to receive the crown of life. And that's what he was ready to go. In other words, God said, that's enough. You've done your run. You've done, you ran the good race. You win many souls. You're done with your work here. It's time to go home. You took him to the resting place, Abraham's bosom, to the resting place, to paradise, to the new Jerusalem, to the kingdom of heaven. He left in, in great peace because he ran the good race. Now he's ready to receive the ground of life. I am, in other words, my departures at hand is ready to leave. He went to the joy of the Lord, enter, or go from faithful servant into the joy of the Lord. Because he did God's work. So the real resting place is not being retired of anything, of from a job, or anything. the true retirement on a resting place is in heaven. God bless this brother, brother um, over in Israel, because he has inspired me and many others that have looked up to him. And I know he's, you know, in heaven rejoicing. We got to rejoice because the Bible says that, 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 um, I got the scripture in my head. It says that the precious in the eyes of the Lord, the death of his saints. You see, when we die in Christ, us as saints, when we depart as a saint, we get buried, and we depart from access for the body, present to the Lord. So this is brother here, praise Jesus, victory, and many other brothers that have departed from this world that I know that have, you know. But he was one of the ones that I had looked up to for many years, man. I know he's in a, he's in paradise, man. And we just got to take the church torch and we got to keep on, you know, keep walking. We got to keep fighting the battle. We got to keep fighting to the very end because our retirement is up there, not here on earth. Our retirement, our resting place is in heaven, not on earth. And, and we just got to keep on. Now it's our time to finish this race. He finished his race and now it's our time to keep going. Finish our race and that we all can push one each other into faith and keep Preaching the gospel with bonus because Jesus Christ is coming and soon we're going to be in heaven rejoicing with them in Jesus' mighty name. My father's house and many men, if it wasn't so, I would have told you, but I'm going to prepare a place for you so where I be, you shall be your soul. But those who are written in the Lamb Book of Life will enter into paradise. Come, our God's faithful servant. 
you um, enter into the joy of the Lord. When you have the joy of the Lord, you'll be saying, Holy, 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 walking the streets of gold with all the saints and angels, and it's all eternity far away from sin. Bible said that He'll wipe away every tear from your eyes. He'll wipe away every tear from your eyes. There'll be no pain, no, no pain, no death, no hurt, no nothing. No, the tears they shall be wiped away. All things past, all things are made new. All things is new in Christ Jesus. And be ready to receive the crown of life. And that's why we got to run for it. We got to we run all of us on this race. We all running to get to to the, to receive the crown of life and make it into the kingdom of heaven. We got to fight the good fight of faith in Jesus' name. Keep preaching the gospel, all you saints out there. In Jesus' name, you keep preaching the gospel with boldness. And I encourage a lot of people, all the um, street preachers out there to keep preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, our brother Ruben's left, departed from here, so we got to keep going. Friend, we got to fight our faith and um, discourage one each other. And that man of God was a warrior of God. He was a warrior guy. I looked up to him for many years. I was watching all his videos. It was an honor. The first time I ever met him, that was that was one of my prayers. My petition was to meet him in person. I'm happy that I met. He was one of the others that had wanted to meet in person. My prayer, I went up to him that day in the Maranatha conference, and I went up to him. I said, "Brother, this uh, this right here, me watching you, was a prayer answered." I said, "I prayed, and look, I'm watching you right in front of me." I gave him a hug, a picture, said it's in the video. Okay, it was a prayer that I wanted us to meet him in person. This prayer, I remember I had a prayer years ago, a couple of years ago. And that was a prayer answer that I asked the Father. I wanted to see him. Praise Jesus Christ. You know, it was a privilege seeing him. So keep fighting the good fight in Jesus' name, and I'll see you soon, okay? Um, soon I'm going to be back out on the street preaching the gospel, the good news. Um... I have plans because right now I'm going to different um, um, plazas, like I'm going to shopping centers and food markets and asking permissions about losing their parking lot, getting an empty checks in their parking lot, because I want to choose at least two two days out of the year, two days out of the year to um, make services with the church out there. Uh, we're just trying to find a good place. If you have any ideas... Um, or anything that will help me um, where I could go and I could use my speaker and we could use our drums and um, to go out there to those plazas to uh, any location that you have that will allow us to go um, where we could make church services bring our, our tent um, it's not going to be a whole lot probably like 15 people probably the max but um do y'all have any um, ideas or anything like that, anything that was beneficial that could help me on um, where's a good place to go? Because um, I'm in here in Lakeland, but I'm going to other um, places to get locations to preach. Um, locations where I mean, like, preach, like, make church services. There's a whole different that church, you know, evangelizing, but here I want to make services out on the street. I don't want to do it in front of the church on behind. I just want to go out to other uh, locations. Um, I got the speak. I got everything in little location. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you for subscribing. And um, I love you all. I keep preaching the gospel. I keep each and every one of you in prayer. And those who don't believe at all, I'm going to keep praying for you. So one day you come to the knowledge of the truth and seek Jesus for yourself and realize that he is the only way, the truth, and the life. And the only one that can get to the Father and get to heaven is through Christ Jesus because he is the key to the gates of heaven. God bless you in Jesus' name. I love you all. And... Peace.